Hi guys, so welcome to CTC Mentors. My name is Keetan. This video can help you a lot on your D-Day. Trust me, this video can help you a lot on your D-Day. But you need to understand whatever I'm going to tell you in this video. And that's the reason I request every one of you to listen to me carefully, listen to me very closely and listen everything that I'm going to tell you in this video. Do not fast forward. I don't really want you to miss on any information that I'm telling you because of which you might not do very well on D-Day. So listen to me very carefully. Before I move ahead, I would love to have a disclaimer out here. Because it's a prediction, it's kind of an um, expected attempt that I'm talking about. So here's a disclaimer. Number one, the entire data that I'm going to give it to you right now, it's nothing but a prediction, which is based on historical data predominantly. That's number one. Number two, we neither have any access to the insider information nor we are exposed to it. So just to be you know clear from my side. Number three, in this prediction, I am taking into consideration the best possibilities, which I am going to explain you uh, in the due course of the video anyway. Number four, the whole and sole purpose of this video is to give you guys a roadmap or this to give you guys a bit of an idea that what needs to be done by you on D-Day. Because I see every year, even though the students are really good, even though they are very much prepared, but the entire thing or the entire game changes as far as attempts are concerned. Sometimes students attempt less, sometimes students attempt on a very high level because of which negative marking and they screw up. Now, let's move ahead and start with the actual work. So this is the data that I have. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background. So you got to be a little bit patient uh, before we move ahead. So this data here, this data out here, this is your 2017 scaled score on the basis of which I am giving you the number of questions that needs to be attempted. You know, we all know that, you know, the question, uh, the, the 2017 paper was actually easy. Okay. And for the fact, when you know that the level of difficulty is easy, your attempt should move the ladder up. Now, for 80 percentile, as far as quants is concerned, I'll take quants first, uh, then NRDI and VARC I will be doing in the end because VARC is definitely going to be critical. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. Now, so 11 questions in 2017 can face you around or could have faced you around about 80 percentile. So 11 questions out of 34. That's how we move the ladder up. Now always remember, when you talk about 82, 85, you need round about one or two questions maximum to increase your percentile one or two question maximum so here so here when i say you know it's 11 question uh, actually i'm trying to give you a range so you can consider 10 to 11 and here you can put it as 11 to 12 right i've just kind of you know given you the uh, uh, you know the the final number but you can consider the range also now that's what you need to understand as and when you move the ladder up for 90 percentile requirement was 15 now all these things mean 100 percent accuracy I say attempt doesn't mean that 70 or 80 percent accuracy attempt. I am seeing 15 questions, 100 percent accuracy, no negative marking at all. Uh, that's where you land up at 95 and then 22, 25. Now, one thing that we all need to understand, irrespective of the level of difficulty, whatever it is the level of difficulty, as and when you move ahead, as and when you move ahead, your attempts should grow. So, your attempt badna chahiye, which is a common sense, which is very much obvious thing now. Okay, so that's your 2017 ka quants. Now let's talk about 2018, what happened in 2018. So this data out here is 2018 data. Now we know that, you know, 18 was really bad. Uh, Quan section became horrible. It was bizarre. And that's the reason the cutoff went down. Now I need to tell you guys this and you've got to listen to me very carefully. See, when you look at 2018, if you have given 2018, you can understand very well what I'm trying to tell you out here. Before writing 2018 or before even get into, getting into that examination uh, hall, this is what you were predicting. This is what you wanted to attempt, isn't it? This number was in your mind and this is what you actually went for. But then you understood that, you know what? This is not going to be possible because level of difficulty has increased like anything. So the moment you see LOD has increased, guys, listen to me carefully because everything like the predictions are going to be based on this information. So the moment you see that the LOD has gone the ladder up, what you are supposed to do is you have to reduce your attempts. It's a common sense, okay? Now, if you look at this 11 became 7, okay? This 12 became 8, right? And 90 was around about 10 to 11 questions. And if you look at overall, in 2017, 99 was on 25 questions, right? 25 questions it was, yeah? Now, you see, in 2018, it was 18 to 19. Definitely 100% accuracy that I'm talking about. So this is what you need to understand that you cannot go ahead for CAT on the D-Day keeping a number in your mind. Yes, you can keep the number and that is the reason my formula works like this. 
you have to decide level of difficulty on that basis your attempts on that basis your accuracy and that will going to give you or that's going to give you a great percentile so you got to play very smartly now this is my base now as far as the predictions are concerned see agar main baat karu this is easy extreme level of easiness this is damn tough this is again extreme level of toughness so we have to have a midway right we have to have a midway and that is the reason this is called as a prediction that i am predicting that this is going to be a midway now i'm going to start with quantitative ability so when you talk about quants what i'm trying to tell you is this is my expected cut off so as far as 2019 is concerned i see your quants going to be on the level of easy to medium because i don't see a paper going on a tough level right so i believe it's going to be easy to medium now understand this even if your quants go on a level of 2018 you don't have to worry because you know these numbers this is going to be your exact attempt if the level of difficulty is going to be as equal or let's say it is as good as 2018 ke quants ka level of difficulty itna hi attempts aapka hona chahiye plus minus one question so this is what you need to feed in your mind but again is that really possible the answer is no it cannot be possible because you cannot have the same difficulty year on year why why because the you know the Uh, uh, the IMs do change. Like Kozhi Kodi is setting up. Last year it was CAD uh, uh, set by the um, Calcutta. Then last year last year it was uh, you know Ahmedabad something like that. So this is not going to be the scenario. And if you say that you know the quant is damn easy, then this is going to be a attempt. But again, this is not going to be scenario. So what can be the good you know logical understanding? Ki yar, zada easy bhi nahi aega, zada tough bhi nahi aega. Midway hoga. So midway ka attempt apka kya hoga? So as far as the midway is concerned, this is my attempt ka numbers. So this is going to be for your quantitative ability. You have to have ten questions. You have to attempt ten questions bare minimum as far as your quant is concerned to fetch nine eighty percent time. मतलब this is what is indeed required from your side. This is what is indeed required from your side. Now if you look at ten questions that I am talking about, so this is nothing but a midway. If you look at the midway two thousand seventeen में what we had, we had eleven questions. 2000 अगर हम uh, 18 की बात करें सेवन क्वेश्चंस सो मिड वे इज गोट बी नाइन टू टेन क्वेश्चंस दिस इज वॉट कीप इन योर माइंड एंड दैट्स वी मूव द लैडर अप प्लस वन प्लस बकेटिंग स्ट्रेटजी रिमेंबर बकेटिंग स्ट्रेटजी बकेटिंग स्ट्रेटजी में पहले ही बोला था आपको दैट यू हैव टू गो फॉर नाइन टू टेन क्वेश्चन इन ऑल द सेक्शन सो वी आर सी डी आई एल आर नाइन टू टेन क्वेश्चन वेरी मिनिमम सो यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो यू कैन लुक एट द नंबर्स नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट आई योर अटेम्प्ट शुड बी राउंड अबाउट इफ इट इज अ मिड वे इफ द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इज मिड वे एवरेज लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी योर अटेम्प शुड बी राउंड अबाउट सिक्सटीन टू सेवेंटीन एज फार एज योर नाइनटी नाइन इज कंसर्न शुड बी राउंड अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू से लेकर ट्वेंटी थ्री क्वेश्चन प्लस माइनस वन अगेन लुक एट अगेन दिस इज अ मिड वे ट्वेंटी फाइव नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इट्स अ मिड वे एक्चुअली getting my point so this is all about your cons now let's move ahead as far as your dilr is concerned what happened in dilr dilr if you look at 2017 dilr was tougher than the 2018 ka dilr but again i don't think that the dilr level is going to be changing drastically and that is the reason my numbers are going to be 8 that's number 1 excuse me for that so my numbers are going to be 8 is the bare minimum that thing that i'm looking at so this is going to be 8 and 9 so this is what you need to attempt so if you are somebody who is targeting 90 percentile bare minimum 10 questions you will have to do which is going to be two sets for sure if you do two sets for sure you are getting into 80 percentile no doubt about that i'm going to explain this to you later on also now let's move ahead and try to understand so 99 is something going to be on 16 again that's going to be midway so this is 15 this is 17 i'm looking at 16 i don't think lrd i will change drastically again agar aapko lagta hai ki you know what 17 ka lrd aapko pata hai 18 का एलओडी आपको पता है एंड यू सी दैट यू नो व्हाट लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर बेस्ड ऑन द कैलकुलेशन देन दिस नंबर माइट बिकम 18 एंड दिस नंबर माइट बिकम 10 इफ द पेपर इज डैम इजी गेट इट माय पॉइंट नाउ लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड द गोल्डन रूल दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रूल सी द मेन प्रॉब्लम हैपेंस वेयर इट हैपेंस द मेन प्रॉब्लम हैपेंस आफ्टर दिस अम ओके आफ्टर दिस द मेन प्रॉब्लम हैपेंस सो दिस रीजन दैट यू सी आउट हियर Till 90 percentile, your life is easy across all the session. Now listen to me very carefully. Till 90 percentile, your life is going to be easy across all the session, irrespective, irrespective of level of difficulty. Right? See, our logic is this is not going to be possible at all that your section, one of the three section, 
becomes so goddamn tough that 80 percentile will be on four questions next to impossible next to impossible that's not going to happen that's not going to happen right because the exam cannot go that drastic or that extreme right so it is never going to be the possible that ki boss char question pe 80 percentile aayega aur maan lo 10 question pe tumhara 95 aayega that's not going to be possible and that is a that is a reason to understand the range that i'm talking about that your 80 percentile your 80 percentile as far as dinr is concerned can be 8 to 9 question कॉन्स की बात करेंगे तो नाइन टू टेन क्वेश्चन और अगर वी आर सी की बात करेंगे तो तेरह से चौदह क्वेश्चन दिस इज वॉट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अगर हम नाइनटी परसेंट तक भी चलते हैं देन दिस इज द रेंज दैट यू नीड टू कीप इन योर माइंड कि फॉर क्वांस आई नीड टू आई आई हैव टू हैव बेयर मिनिमम एटलीस्ट लेट से थर्टीन टू फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन फॉर क्वांस सो नाइनटी के लिए थर्टीन से लेके फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन अगर मैं डी की बात करूँ तो टेन से लेके इलेवन क्वेश्चन अगर मैं वी आर सी की बात करूँ तो सोलह से लेके सत्रह क्वेश्चन इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ योर डिफिकल्टी इतने अटैम्प्ट आपको करने ही करने हैं और इतने अटैम्प्ट आपके बनेंगे ही बनेंगे ऑनेस्टली इतना तो आपका पक्का बनने वाला है देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट एंड इवन इफ यू लुक एट दिस इज दिस इज वॉट सिक्सटीन दिस इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स अगर मैं पकड़ू थर्टी सिक्स दस थर्टी नाइन दस राउंड अबाउट थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी परसेंट पेपर इवन इफ यूर एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट यू विल बी एबल टू नॉक इट ऑफ तो जहां तक नाइनटी परसेंट का सवाल है योर लाइफ इज गोट बी इजी सो लाइफ बिकम्स विल टफ वेन यू मूव द लैडर ऑफ फ्रॉम नाइनटी फाइव टू नाइनटी नाइन There, that's where you need to understand the level of difficulty. I mean, on a little bit higher level, level of difficulty. You have to understand. 90% till then. But I am going to give you this number. This is my number, which you need to adhere to. So it doesn't matter where you want to go. 99 करना है, 90 करना है. The moment you start your segment, you have to pick up and say that, man, 8 to 10 questions should be made in DLR. Minimum, my 10 questions should be made in 11. Uh, my quants should be. और मेरे बनने चाहिए तेरह से चौदह क्वेश्चन बेर मिनिमम वी आर्स में तब मेरा जाके एटी परसेंट एल बनेगा सो एटी 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 ओवरऑल विल बी नाइनटी इन कैट एट सिंपल एज दैट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वी ए आर सी माई स्लाइड इज कंप्लीटली नाउ यू नो कलरफुल सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वी ए आर सी नाउ जहां तक वी ए आर सी का सवाल है वी ए आर सी हैज ऑलवेज बिन स्टैगनेंट सो देर इज नॉट मच चेंज दैट हैज हैपन इन वी ए आर सी इट हैज ऑलवेज बिन स्टैगनेंट सो द लेवल ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इज एक्चुअली सेम across 17 and 18 now let's say people are saying that you know cozy code is actually you know making a paper and all that so what will happen with level of difficulty so there are two things that's going to happen number one you will still have a stagnant level of difficulty or same level of difficulty agar same hai attempt is right front of you okay because 2017 mein jahan tak baat karenge 2017 mein aur 2018 mein kuch zyada farak nahi hai plus 1 minus 1 as simple as that okay so same rahega aapka attempts bhi same rehne wala hai Now number two, for the fact people are saying cozy code is setting up and the level of difficulty is going to go up. So if the level of difficulty goes up, plus minus three questions per kilo, bare minimum. So when I say कि यार अगर आपको लगता है paper tough है, how do you gauge level of difficulty? मैंने already बोला है, आप लोग मेरी videos देखो आपको पता चलेगा verbal का level of difficulty कैसे बढ़ता है. Simple सी बात है जहाँ पे 14 questions के बारे में हम बात करते हैं 80% L के लिए, 13 to 14 ये बनेगा सर आपका 10 to 11. शॉर्ट शॉर्ट प्लस माइनस थ्री पकड़ के चलना सबसे ज्यादा अटेम्प्ट वी ए आर सी में ही लगता है सो so यहां पे अगर मैं ट्वेंटी फाइव की बात कर रहा हूं अगर इजी आया सो ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स का रेंज पकड़ लो अगर ये पेपर टफ आया जो कोसी कोडे के बारे में बोला जाता है इफ दैट दैट इफ दैट्स ट्रू ऑन द डी डे देन दिस नंबर इज गोट बी ऑन ट्वेंटी वन से लेके ट्वेंटी टू एट सिंपल एज दैट बट अगेन वॉट एवर इज देयर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विद अगर मैं बात करूं अगेन टू काइंड ऑफ गिव यू अ नट शेल डी एल आर बेर मिनिमम एट क्वॉन्ट्स टेन VRC 13 इतना तो बनना ही बनना चाहिए किसी भी हालत में टू क्रॉस एडी परसेंट टाइम सो वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट यू कैन पुट द कमेंट ऑन द ऑन द ऑन दिस वीडियो बट दिस इज गोट बी माई एक्सपेक्टेड और आई वुड से प्रेडिक्टेड कट ऑफ और प्रेडिक्टेड अटेम्प्ट ऑन द डी डे तो जितना मैंने बोला है नाइनटी परसेंट डाइल के लिए उतना आपको करना ही है जैसे जैसे यू आर एबल टू डू मोर क्वेश्चन यू कैन मूव द लैडर अप बट रिमेंबर The golden rule number one: decide the LOD, understand goals the LOD. On that basis, decide your attempts. On that basis, decide your accuracy. I would say, uh, you know, having the accuracy of ninety. 
200 percent is is great accuracy on this basis you're going to have your percentile so that's a small effort from my side to give you guys an idea about the expected cutoff as far as your cat is concerned and for god's sake do not worry about your score and all that because number of attempts pe aapka score depend hone wala hai so this is it from my side guys um you know if you have any questions then put the comment try to like the video share it there are going to be couple of more videos on the same front so kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel that's it from my side thank you so much